Hello, my name is Adora Spitak, and as some of you may know, I'm an 11-year-old published author. I was 7 when I published my first book, Flying Fingers, and this is now what I am going to be teaching you some vocabulary from. So, uh, I would advise you, if you have not already heard this at this point, to go back and find the video Adora talks about her book, Flying Fingers, where I'm going to be reading an excerpt from the story, The Rebels Reward, because that is where I'm getting this vocabulary list from. All of my stories feature a very cool little vocabulary list that you can see right here. So that instead of having to flip back to a glossary or something like that, then you have it right there. You can see it. If you don't know the word, you can see it right there. Okay, so firstly, some of you may already know this is grubby. Any guesses? Grubby means dirty. I have grubby hands. Or Catherine ran into the room where she uh, and she had been dig digging in the damp dirt with her grubby fingers. That's a sentence in here. Street urchin. That means a scamp, a brat. Some of you may have heard urchin and combined with street. It's even doubly powerful. Curtly. A rudely brief manner of speaking. So maybe some of you have read Harry Potter. Professor McGonagall sometimes speaks curtly. Disdainfully. In a scornful way. I watched my sister Adriana clumsily race into the kitchen, only to knock over a vase, which in turn knocked over a clock, which in turn knocked over the measuring spoons and created utter chaos in the kitchen. And I looked at her disdainfully, of course. Despicable. That's fun to say. Loathsome. Deserving of contempt. That is a despicable dress you're wearing. It is a bright, garish yellow. I can't believe you bought that for $20. Reprimand. Have any of you been reprimanded by your parents, or maybe if you're of an older age, by your workplace boss? That means scold. Sly. Are you sly? That means crafty, mischievous, cunning. Distinctly. She spoke distinctly, and every no one had difficulty hearing her. Clearly. Reluctant means hesitant, somewhat unwilling. I am reluctant to drink water sometimes. Hastily, hurriedly. She hastily threw things into her bundle and raced out of the room. Bickering, arguing. I bickered with my sister quite often, actually. Dilapidated means ramshackle or falling to pieces. I hope none of you live in ramshackle houses, although I have seen a few. And finally, scurrilous. And this is one of my favorites, to tell you the truth. The pirate's parrot was very scurrilous and could often be heard shouting swear words at guests. Any guesses on scurrilous now? Well, scurrilous means foul mouth, using profane words or vulgar. And that concludes our vocabulary flying fingers segment for this day. Thanks for watching. If you'd like any more info, you can always get a copy of Flying Fingers. And if you'd like to learn more about me, check out my website, www.adorasvitak.com. A-D-O-R-A-S-V-I-T-A-K.com. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.